warm sun peeks through the fence on Old Friends Farm in Georgetown, Kentucky. A light breeze welcomes another day of retirement for some of horse racing's biggest stars. Touch gold. Come on, buddy. We got carrots. Show them you can still run a little bit. boy. They're all such striking individuals. Mm -hmm. You know, before, when I first started going to the racetrack, there were just numbers and it was just betting and, 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 and all of that. But once you're around these horses, you realize how different they are and how their personalities uh, express themselves. It's really, really interesting. Farm owner Mike Blowen discovered his love of horses while working as a movie critic for the Boston Globe. His editor introduced him to the industry, leading him to Kentucky and a life-changing idea. Nobody was taking stallions. Every, you know, the stallions, I said, but they're like the stars. And I started to think about it in terms of the movies and how everybody loves movie, movie stars and they want to see movie stars and they have a, they have a gravitas and a magnetism to them. And, and to, to me, these horses have 10 times that. And so I decided we'd try and start old friends and we'd take stallions. And that was more than 14 years ago. Now the farm is a 145 acre living museum of horse racing. We're only retirement. We, all the horses that come here, they're retired. This is Silver Charm, probably one of the most famous horses here out of the 104 on the farm, all thoroughbred. It didn't take long to understand why Silver Charm <laughs> is a farm favorite. <laughs> oh, I love your kisses. The greatest day of my life is the day he showed up. That was December 1st, 2014. The 1997 Kentucky Derby and Preakness winner retired at Old Friends with total winnings of more than $6.9 million. Why is uh, Silver Charm your favorite? You know, I don't know. It's like, it's why are you married to your husband? Right? You know, it's like, love does strange things. What's your name? Lynn and Bill Hartnett. Hi, Lynn. Nice, nice to see you. Nice Michael. to see you, too. Old Friends also draws visitors from around the world, like the Hartnetts. Second trip we wow. came about what eight, eight years, years ago? ago, and we just fell in love with it. You know, we we love what he's doing, and being a, a also a Bostonian, I'm sure that's part of you know the, the draw. But we just love the fact that there's a rescue facility for these animals. Many of the horses end up at Old Friends after breeding in Japan. Blowen says Derby winner War Emblem sold as a breeding stallion for more than 17 million dollars. All right, all right, I'm coming. Look, he's getting <laughs> mad at me. He's, get those carrots over here. The farm's cost to get war emblem and other thoroughbreds from Japan to retirement in Kentucky is about $60,000 and a lot of carrots. A quick run and then we'll eat. Running a farm is a lot of work, but it's easy to see just how much Blowen enjoys it. He never takes a vacation or day off because after all, these animals are his family. Look at my kiss. I told my wife, I said, kiss. you know what? I said, we're going to die of something, but it won't be boredom.